Now, you might have visited Siloso Beach Resort on Sentosa before, but did you know that its permanent residents include earthworms? I didn't know that until today, but now I do. Yes, the resort has a wormery housing about, get this, a million earthworms. And they're not pets. Every month, they chomp down a whopping 700 kilos of food waste from the hotel kitchen, and they turn it into half that amount of poo, which is mixed into soil as organic fertilizer to grow plants and vegetables. Now, the resulting veggies meet 20% of the resort's needs. And now the worms have an automated care system. It keeps them happy by probing their habitat to ensure that it's moist enough and not too acidic. If there's a problem, the keepers of the worms are alerted by SMS. The resort worked with Neon Polytechnic on the prototype. And we have with us tonight Carl Fisher, Manager of Corporate Social Responsibility at Siloso Beach Resort, and Dr. Alex C, Electrical Engineering Lecturer at Neon Polytechnic. Welcome, gent gentlemen. Now, Carl, you know, we would never have guessed that you're keeping a million earthworms at your resort. It must be a, a big secret to keep. Where did the idea come from? Uh, well, we're an eco-resort, um, so we're trying to uh, minimize our environmental impacts. Uh, one of those is, of course, the food waste that we have. And so we're looking at how we can uh, do this as naturally as possible. Mm. And we were considering uh, earthworms because, one, the process is much, much faster than normal composting. And the end product, which is uh, what I have here, these are the earthworm castings. Mm which is the uh, natural uh, organic fertilizer that we get out of the end, end process, is actually uh, very good for the plants. It's a very, very high yeah. quality fertilizer and our plants then can grow uh, very healthy because of this. Carl, a million, a million earthworms. Nearly, yes. So that's, that they have to be taking up a lot of space, isn't it? How much <laughs> space exactly? All right, if we're, actually it's, it's not just one, one big uh, tray, it's if, uh, you've seen from the pictures, mm. it's a modular system. Mm -hmm. So it's a series of uh, 92 trays. Um, the whole area is about the size of a hotel room. Um, it's not, not, not in a hotel room. We're not, not going to ask you how you, know, you managed to figure that one out. Oh, which, oh, which hotel room? <laughs> <laughs> so no, is it's, it a, it's not a, not a, a suite. A suite, maybe. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so it's just a, a regular size hotel uh, room. Yes, it's actually out, uh, open... Uh, open air. So. The size of a regular yes, sized hotel. Okay, okay. All right, Dr. C, let's bring you in on the conversation here. Uh, this automated care system for the earthworms, it was the brainchild of, of students, of course, we understand. How did that happen? Uh, the short answer is yes. Uh, two of our electrical engineering students from uh, uh, Neon Polytechnic were given the opportunity to work on this project and they have uh, designed and developed these innovative solutions for Siloso Beach. So it's, this is, of course, after consultation with the Siloso Beach Resort. But why did they, you know, sort of come up with the idea in the first place? I mean, did you, they approached you or, or the other uh, way around? I, I was fortunate enough to visit uh, Siloso Beach uh, in contact with Carl. And uh, Carl actually shared with us uh, this problem that they had at the Wormery. So uh, with that idea in mind, I actually brought this back to Neon Polytechnic where I had discussion with my students. So that was how the idea came about. So could there potentially be some other applications for the system as well? Sure. Uh, this system basically is an automated system. So uh, what I see is that there's potential for this system to be applied into other areas, for example, in the areas of aquaculture. So what we need to do is really to uh, uh, adapt and use a different types of measurement probes. Mm. Carl, you know, I, just to bring you in on this, I'm still very intrigued about, about the worms. Um, okay. Do the guests at the resort know that this is where their veggies are coming from? Well, we, we hope they know. Uh, we, we do take a lot of uh, effort to inform our guests that mm. we have this, uh, what, what we call this closed loop cycle, because there's actually no wastage in this process. Uh, what is the food waste ends up going through the uh, earthworms. It's used to grow the plants. And then the end, end product uh, is used in our cafe. Right. So this is actually a closed loop cycle. So we uh, do inform our guests of this. And uh, we even offer uh, daily tours. And what happens yeah. when you tell them that, you know, <laughs> that the worm pool is directly contributing to their, their, their veggies? Uh, well, what like, is the, the what, reaction? No, reaction? no. Actually, the, it's, uh, very, it's actually very clean. Usually the reaction 
uh, when they walk into a wormery is they're surprised that there's no smell mm. because the composting process of worms is actually uh, very, very clean and mm. happens very fast. Now, apart from, from rearing earthworms for their poo, um, what other sustainable practices does uh, Siloso Beach Resort have? All right, uh, one, one uh, unique aspect of our resort is uh, the way it was uh, designed and constructed. Uh, it was actually done in a way to preserve the, the terrain. Mm. So there's a big difference, a 28 meter difference from the top to the bottom of the resort. And uh, 200 of the original trees were preserved and including that uh, a lot of the, the natural habitat for the biodiversity was, was left intact. Mm. Uh, and in addition to that, we, uh, of course, manage our, our energy and our water usage. Uh, we even are using a source of uh, spring water for our pool uh, and for some of our irrigation. Uh, and, of course, reducing of waste, like through this uh, closed-loop cycle that we're doing with our earthworms. Mm. So, Dr. C, this is really a wonderful example of students, you know, working towards, you know, real-world problems and solutions for those. Any other ways that the students are, are sort of working towards solving real-world problems? I think uh, for us, uh, going beyond classroom teaching, we are constantly seeking uh, partners, like, for example, industry partners. For example, a good example is Soloso Beach uh, Resort. So, uh, we, we intend to uh, expose our students to uh, different uh, problems that are faced by the industry. And we believe that it is an authentic platform and bringing students so that they are able to utilize what they have learned in the classroom and they apply it to solve real world challenges. Mm. All right, thanks very much for those perspectives, guys. And I have one more question for you, actually, Carl. <laughs> sure. I'm, I'm curious about those ones as well. You say a million. How do you count that there are a million? You go by the tray? <laughs> The we, weight? We go, yeah, <laughs> we go by the weight and then multiply it by the tray. So how many, how many sort of uh, worms make up sort of like, you know, what's the weight of X number of worms? Sort of 300 worms per kilo? I don't know. Oh, no. <laughs> I'm uh, rough, okay. <laughs> well, roughly per tray, we know that, right. per tray, we know that uh, each tray has approximately 8,000. Okay. So we, All right. we go based on that. And you say good morning to them every single day. <laughs> All right. Thank you, gentlemen, for those perspectives. We've been speaking to Carl Fisher from Siloso Beach Resort and Dr. Alexey from Neon Polytechnic. Whole new perspective on, on <laughs> salad. Right. Yeah. <laughs> Moving on now, a new MRT station opens on Sunday at Marina South and it will feature some unusual artwork made of a very appropriate material. Believe it or not, we're talking about 27,000 old EasyLink cards. Now the artwork comes in two pieces called past.